Happy New Year, everyone. We made it. We haven't been sacked. We could get sacked today. Let's try not to get sacked. What's up, guys? Chasing Lamely here with episode number 12 of Living the Dream. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because if you don't like and subscribe, you'll never see if we turn this around. And we are starting to turn it around. You've missed nothing since that 4-2 win over Alfreton you saw in the last game. So we're just going to go straight into it and see if we can keep this run going and get the six points we need from the next two games. So this is the starting lineup for the game against Gloucester. Just one change since the last episode. We're starting with O'Meara in goal, Barton, Baxter, Allen and Halem. Andy Williams comes in in place of the right winger whose name I've just completely forgotten because my brain went blank. Troy Shelley from the last game because Troy Shelley was not fully fit. Steve Hardy and Kian Yari are the centre of midfield. Summers on the left-hand side, Cahill and Porter up top with Fleming, James, Moody, Lennox and Emery on the bench. So let's get into the game and let's see if we can maybe get ourselves a second win on the bounce and see if we can start clawing this back for us. Team Tortes says, come on lads, show me what you can do. That feels like a winner. It was kind of a winner. Let's, let's see if we can actually win this game, get the second game on the bounce in the bag and then we just need three more points to get ourselves safe in the job. First start of the game on 10 minutes, Allen plays it to Yari, Yari, short pass to Hardy, Hardy out to the left to Summers, can Bradley Summers get it in, he tries but he doesn't quite find his man, Yari is hopefully there, he is there, should look for Tekla Halen down the left hand side, he has, he's released him, can we get the crossover, let's hope we can, is there anyone there to meet it, there is, Chris Cahill is there to meet it, that's his 15th goal of the season which is quite an impressive haul, especially in a team where we've been bottom of the league for most of the season. 15 goals, definitely an impressive return, and Halem set it up beautifully, saw Cahill there, keeper was in no man's land, defender hadn't seen Cahill, hadn't tracked his man, we've got ourselves 1-0 up already, free kick for Gloucester City, ball forward, hopefully we'll get that clear, McClure has headed it down, Baxter finally gets it clear to Porter, Jason Porter picks it up, he's got options, what can he do from here? He's just going to go it alone, it looks like he's going on a run on his own, can he score? He can't, weak finish. Everything leading up to it was great, but the finish was just poor. Free kick for Hardy. Can we get it forward? We have Cahill is there. Cahill takes it first time on the volley. He was offside, I think, but, you know, fair play to him for giving it a go. Hardy with a free kick from deep. Looks for Cahill again. Molden is there to pull it out of the air, and hopefully they don't hit us on the counter. It's a big, long ball forward. There's no one there for Gloucester City, and Barton will pick it up. Can we build from here? Barton, big ball forward, looks for Cahill, doesn't quite find him, Bowery heads out to Mensa, Hardy picks it up to Williams, back to Hardy, ball forward looking for Cahill, but Dawson's got it, to Blunt, or Brunt, sorry, McClure has it, back to Brunt, I don't know if that's Chris Brunt, it'd be weird if it was, McClure, can we get back, it was a hell of a shot, it was an ambitious shot, well wide, but fair play to him for giving it a go, corner, Hardy to take it, whips it into the box, Baxter looks for it, can't quite get it. Yari will pick it up on the edge of the box. Is there an option for him to pass to here? Finds Allen. Really going backwards here. We need to get the ball looking forwards. Hardy to Cahill. Cahill back to Baxter. Baxter over the top to Porter. Jason Porter is there. It's disallowed for offside. We're looking like we might know what we're doing though all of a sudden. That's always, you know, always a positive. He was definitely offside. It's got to be said. But it's positive, it's looking good that we're actually finally starting to create things. We're starting to look like we're able to win games. Hindle now has the ball running at us. Omer will pick it out the sky. Rolls it out quickly to Barton. Can we get this ball forward? Hardy is on it. To Williams. Williams will have a choice of people to pass to. But it looks like he's going to try and go on his own. Back heel to Cahill who wasn't ready for it. Through to Williams again. Can Williams score? Andy Williams one on one. Molden makes the save and it's gone out for a corner. What can we do from the corner? Looks like it'd be Steve Hardy to take it. He's played it in deep. Cahill looks like he was going to get to it, but Daly was there. Hardy back into the mix. There's no one there again. Gunning gets it clear, and they've, they've escaped. It's half-time, and 1-0 up. We're looking okay. We're dominating on every stat. So we're, we're starting to come together, looking like a team. This new method of playing young players who've got a bit of pace to them it seems to be doing well. We've played well so far. Still room for improvement. The same people are motivated as before. But it worked out okay for us the first time, so we're going to see if we can keep up the momentum. Carline with a free kick. Let's get rid of this. Omer fists it away. Whittle, Hardy gets rid of it though. And now Cahill is on the run. He's chasing down the ball. 
We have got them outnumbered. If we can just slip the ball through to Porter, we can. He should be one-on-one with the goalie, free and clear. He just has to put it away. The keeper has made an excellent save. But really, Porter should have done way better with that. He had all the time in the world and all the space to shoot in. Hardy will take the corner, whips it into the box. Who is there? Anyone there? Daly heads it clear. Yari is deep again to pick it up. What can he do? Ball forward looking for Williams, doesn't find him. Barton looked like he might have got it when Mensa picked it up. Bowery plays it forward, and that's very deep, very wide, and going nowhere. We've made it through about 70 minutes, and I'm just looking at the team, seeing what's occurring with people. And Nathan Baxter is tiring. I want to keep him on a little bit longer. It's really the wingers that have got me concerned. I think we're going to put Mlenek on on the left-hand side. And I guess we're going to take the risk of putting Moody on as the right winger. I want to take Freddie Barton off because he's not played very well. But I'm very aware Nathan Baxter has tired a little bit. So we're just going to keep that last sub back and I'll make the decision when I need to make the decision. Just as I'm making the decision to finally take off Barton on the right hand side. Put Charlie James on. We've got a free kick. We've put it forward. Yari tries to take it forward. Doesn't quite make much progress. Mlenek though has got it on the left hand side. He can cut inside from where he is. And he should be dangerous from there. Moody on the right hand side picks up. Ball over the top, looking for Mlenek again. Can Mlenek finish it? He can't. <sighs> just, just should have done better. But we are still 1-0 up. We are still picking up the three points, which is definitely a bonus. This team, I'm liking the way this team are playing right now. And we're just about to head into injury time. See if we can maybe wrap this up. Take it home. Looks like the final whistle will go. Now it has. We've picked up two wins on the bounce. I think that's the first time we've done that this season. And we've done it in a absolutely dominant fashion i'm really happy with that so we can say a good win boys well done everyone looks inspired and motivated we should also be off the bottom of the table because of this which is also a bonus we'll have a little look in just a second because it should pull up a league table for us a good win it's taken us as i said hopefully off the bottom we'll see now we are off the bottom things are looking okay one game to go if we can win that we might find ourselves outside of the relegation zone Miracles do happen. Confirmation here, we need to get three points from the next match. However, the downside is that our next match is against Geisley, who are currently top of the league and playing really, really well. As far as I'm aware, we can just have a look at their little bit there recently. In fact, they're starting to drop points. They might be vulnerable. We might have found the best time to play them. So I can't promise you where the next steps is. Those of you who saw the channel update today will know that I'm sort of taking it easy over the next month because I've got exams coming up. So I can't promise you the next episode will come on Monday. The next episode will be out as soon as I have the time to get it out is essentially what's going to go on here. So thanks for watching, guys. Join us next time for the Geisley game. Remember to hit like and subscribe. It will appear there. And hit me up on the socials below, the Twitter, the Insta, and the Patreon at Chasing Lamely. I'll keep you up to date and I'll let you know when the new episode comes out. But like I said, I've got to put the exams first, so that's kind of going to be the priority. But until next time, guys, I have been Chasing Lamely, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.